I'm going to show you how to reduce the size of your Final Cut Pro library. I just wrapped up this project for a one-minute video, and I noticed my library size ballooned up to nearly 90 gigabytes. This project had only a handful of video clips in it, so the library size shouldn't be anywhere near this. To double-check what's taking up so much space, you can right-click your library and choose Show Package Contents. From there, go to the List view, sort by size and hit Command plus J to check the Calculate All Sizes box. Now you can sort the contents of your library based on file size. In my case, almost all the space is taken up by render files, which I don't need anymore since I already finished up the project. The next biggest thing is analysis files. I used optical flow and some stabilization in my project, so those slowed down and stabilized versions of the footage are stored here, so we'll leave that alone. Everything else is pretty small, so let's go ahead and get rid of the unnecessary render files. In Final Cut Pro, select your library and go to File, Delete Generated Library Files. If you've created optimized media or proxy media, you can delete those here. And in our case, we'll want to get rid of the render files. Every time you make changes on your timeline, Final Cut will render those clips to a specific format for smooth playback. And with every change you make, it will create a new set of rendered clips on top of the old ones. This is why eventually your library will get large, because the amount of render files gets larger the longer you keep working on your video. You have the option to either delete only unused render files or to delete all render files. I'm going to delete all. Final Cut will automatically render the timeline for the latest version of my video when I have my timeline open, but I like to delete all of them and then quickly close out my project before new render files get created. And now when I look at my library again, it's gone down from nearly 90 gigabytes to 11 gigabytes, which matches pretty closely to what I had in my Analysis Files folder. This is how I like to archive my old projects, with the smallest possible file size that still allows me to go back and make changes if I ever need to. One more thing that can make your libraries big is the way you import your video footage. I like to keep my video clips in a separate folder for raw footage. Under Final Cut Settings, you'll want to make sure the import setting is set the way you want it. I want to leave my files in place when I import them into Final Cut. If I have the copy files to library selected, Final Cut will duplicate all my videos and store them inside the library. Some people like this, but I prefer to manage my video files manually, since I might need easy access to them later when importing them to other projects. If you've accidentally imported files into your library, you can always remove those and relink the files from the folder you're using for raw video files. So that's another thing to keep an eye out for. I hope that helps you minimize the size of your libraries. The way project files and libraries work with Final Cut can be a little confusing, so this is one thing I personally do a lot to eliminate using up unnecessary hard drive space. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button below for more quick tutorials and I'll see you in the next video.